Why settle for a mediocre life when you have the power within you to achieve greatness? In the journey of life, understanding and applying certain fundamental laws can pave the way for unparalleled success and fulfillment. Today, we delve into two powerful laws that can shape the trajectory of your life, the law of sowing and reaping and the law of averages. Let's start with the law of sowing and reaping. Imagine your life as a vast field waiting to be cultivated. The seeds you plant represent your actions, decisions, and the effort you invest in various aspects of your life. The law is simple yet profound, whatever you sow, you will reap. If you plant positivity, hard work, and kindness, you can expect a bountiful harvest. Conversely, if you sow negativity, laziness, and cruelty, you will reap the bitter fruits of your actions. Consider this law as a universal principle that works in both positive and negative directions. You cannot expect to sow negativity and reap positivity. It doesn't work that way. Just as a farmer meticulously tends to his crops throughout the seasons, you must nurture and cultivate your actions to ensure a rich harvest in the future. The law emphasizes that you don't merely reap what you sow, you reap much more than what you sow, this is a crucial point to understand. Planting a cup of corn doesn't yield a cup in return, it yields a bushel. The exponential returns highlight the significance of your efforts and actions. Whether positive or negative, the law of sowing and reaping is always at work. Now, let's address a vital aspect of this law, sometimes, it doesn't work as expected. Life can throw unexpected challenges, just as a hailstorm can destroy a farmer's crop. The key here is resilience. Despite setbacks, the wise farmer chooses to plant again in the next spring, understanding that more often than not, the law of averages will work in their favor. And speaking of the law of averages, it is a compelling force that plays a pivotal role in shaping outcomes. The rule of thumb is that if you do something often enough, you'll establish a ratio of results. Whether you're in sales, pursuing a goal, or building relationships, the law of averages can be your ally. Consider a scenario where you talk to 10 people, and only one shows interest. Some might see this as a failure, but understanding the law of averages allows you to see it differently. Instead of fixating on the one positive response, focus on the ratio. If one out of 10 shows interest, then with consistent effort, you can compete and even surpass someone who might have better initial success. The beauty of the law of averages is that it can be increased over time. Initially, you might only get one positive response out of 10, but as your skills and experience grow, so does your ratio. You might find yourself getting two or three positive responses out of 10, significantly improving your chances of success. Now, let's explore an intriguing concept related to the law of averages, the 80 20 rule. This rule suggests that 20% of the people do 80% of the business, while the remaining 80% contribute to only 20%. It's a fascinating observation that transcends various aspects of life, from business to personal relationships. Rather than trying to alter or rearrange this natural distribution, embrace it and strategize accordingly. If you're in a position to allocate your time, invest 80% of it with the 20% who contribute significantly to your goals. It's about maximizing your efforts where they yield the most substantial results. Now, let's shift our focus to the law of faith. Faith is not just a religious concept, it's a powerful force that can transform your reality. Think of faith as the ability to see things that don't yet exist. It's the fuel that turns difficulties into positive outcomes. To harness the power of faith, it's essential to understand its three critical steps. Firstly, faith is about seeing things as they are. It doesn't ignore the negative aspects of a situation. If there's a challenge or a setback, acknowledging it is the first step towards overcoming it. Faith operates in the realm of reality, not denial. Secondly, faith involves seeing things better than they are. It's about envisioning a brighter future, looking beyond the current obstacles, and visualizing positive outcomes. This step requires tapping into your imagination and dreaming of possibilities beyond the immediate circumstances. 
The third step is where faith turns into reality, making things better than they are. It's about taking action, investing effort, and working towards the vision you've created. Faith, when coupled with action, has the potential to create miracles and transform challenges into stepping stones for success. While embracing faith, it's crucial to avoid two extremes. On one hand, don't see the situation worse than it is. It's easy to magnify problems and create unnecessary anxiety. On the other hand, don't see it for more than it can become in a reasonable period. Faith should be grounded in reality and a practical timeline. Remember that faith is not about blindly hoping for the best without taking action. Faith without corresponding effort is futile. It's about having the confidence and belief that, with persistent action and the right mindset, you can turn challenges into triumphs. Now, let's connect these principles to the law of use. This law emphasizes that whatever you don't use, you lose. It's a call to action, urging you to deploy your talents, abilities, and resources actively. Consider your life as a garden, and each talent or skill as a seed. To ensure a rich harvest, you must plant, nurture, and actively use these seeds. The law of use applies to every aspect of your life. If you have a talent or skill that remains dormant, it diminishes over time. It's like a muscle that atrophies without exercise. Whether it's your intellect, creativity, or physical abilities, consistent use is the key to maintaining and enhancing them. An ancient parable, the parable of the talents, beautifully illustrates the law of use. In the story, a master entrusts talents, a measure of gold, to three servants. The ones who actively use and multiply their talents are rewarded, while the one who buries his talent loses it. This parable serves as a powerful metaphor for life. The talents represent your unique abilities and potential. Burying them out of fear or complacency leads to loss, while actively using and multiplying them results in abundance. As you take inventory of your life, ask yourself, are you actively using your talents, skills, and resources, or are you burying them out of fear or indecision? The law of use challenges you to unlock your full potential and actively engage in the process of personal and professional growth. In conclusion, these laws, the law of sowing and reaping, the law of averages, the 80-20 rule, the law of faith, and the law of use, are powerful tools that can shape your destiny. They provide a roadmap for achieving your goals, navigating challenges, and living a life of purpose and fulfillment. Now, as you reflect on these principles, leave a comment above describing what you want in life. What are your goals, aspirations, and dreams? By sharing your desires, you take the first step towards actively using the principles discussed to create the life you envision. Remember, your destiny is in your hands, and these laws are here to guide you on your journey to greatness. Before you go, Help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.